too deep. I purposely avoided asking him about his trip to the moon, but I did engage him on his passion for flight. And I said, Mr. Armstrong, and by the way, he never did tell me, call me Neil. I said, Mr. Armstrong, could you tell me of all the aircraft you have flown, which is your personal favorite? He told me, well, that Skylancer you have at your museum up there was no slouch. And the Skylancer sits right over there behind you. But then he paused a moment and he said, it'd have to be the Starfighter. Yes, that's the one. And he got a distant little smile. Well, I'm a big fan of aviation in general and military history, but I was not familiar with the Starfighter, so I had to go Google it when I got home. The F-104 Starfighter was an astonishing aircraft of the Cold War. It was the first aircraft to hold both the speed and altitude records at the same time, and its performance characteristics are still impressive by today's standards. It was also known as the Widowmaker. It was incredibly difficult to fly, and only a top pilot could fly it safely. It claimed many lives. In that one short answer, Mr. Armstrong shared with me that he was a pilot's pilot. He flew an airplane that other men were afraid to fly, and that was his personal favorite. Now, would the color guard present the colors, please? Now, to honor America, if you would remove your headgear and sing the national anthem.
this time I would like to thank our color guard. We have the VFW Veterans of Foreign Wars, Wapakoneta Post 8445, the Veterans of Foreign Wars, St. Mary's Post 9289, and the American Legion Post 444 from New Knoxville. Thank you, gentlemen. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce Pastor Jeff Davis. The Armstrong family were members of the St. Paul United Church of Christ, and it is that church that hosted a prayer vigil the entire flight of Apollo 11. They were praying for Neil when he landed and was on the moon and when he came home. Pastor Davis. The psalmist sings, when I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have established, what are human beings that you are mindful of them, mortals that you care for them? And the prophet Joel proclaims, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. When I was 10 years old, I loved to lie in the grass of our yard in the middle of the night and stare at the heavens, to watch the stars, stare and search out the meteors, to see the waxing and the waning of the moon. After July 20th of that year, I never looked at the moon quite the same way. That day was an event for the ages, an event that continues to touch our lives to this day. And for this community, it was even more special. 